I can. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can talk about the secondary objectives briefly. Uh, <laughs> totally not important after the primary objective, which is to uh, provide food and, and cargo and uh, science to the ISS, which is the, uh, the big thing. The landing uh, on the drone ship, um, we uh, seem to have landed a little bit too hard. Um, there's the vehicle coming in. So that's, I, I'm always amazed by that because on one side we see it going off here and then we see it, you know, 200 miles further somewhere else on a, on, a, on a drone ship that sits in the middle of the ocean, we see it coming down. So uh, it came down and it, it, it uh, landed apparently a little bit too hard. I saw three fr two frames basically and then that was the end of it. So we're still looking at data, we need to analyze what happened. Looking at the data um, itself quickly, I heard that everything seemed to be fine, so it's not quite clear what happened, but um, it's, it's uh, so certainly uh, needs more work in the next uh, next couple of missions. Which, by the way, the, the next attempt would be then on, on, on CR7. Marsha Dunn, Associated Press, regarding the secondary mission, um, do you think you'll be able to recover any of the booster? Have you heard whether there is anything left to be gotten? The, there's a crew boat, um, but it's standing away from the uh, drone ship uh, for safety. And um, they are, what I heard is they're on the way. It, might take a while, one, two, th maybe two and a half hours to get there, I'm guessing a little bit, and then they can uh, see what happened. Um, by the time I left, we didn't have data, so I couldn't see what's on the drone ship itself, um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure there will be something to recover. Yeah. John Klein with NASA Social. My question's also for Hans. Um, I'm fascinated by the second